We've actually been involved in forensic archaeology at Bradford since the 80s really. We're kind of the first department to be involved in that. And it came out of various members of the department who got involved with the police for surveying and identifying skeletal remains. Whilst we are looking at mainly archaeological remains, the questions that we have looking at health, diet, death, have an interest for modern day populations. And in fact, we have a large um, grant that's just come in looking at death and dying in modern populations. And they're coming to us to ask about what do we know about how people dealt with death in the past. We do use modern scientific techniques. We do more than just kind of look at the bones and look at age and sex. We actually look at the chemistry within the bones. Our bones are affected by the things we eat, the environment around us, and all that gets brought in and held within our skeletal remains. So then by looking, doing chemical analysis, for example, I work um, in the isotope lab a lot, looking at things like diet and migration in past populations by looking at the isotopes within the chemical composition of the bones and that at Bradford we're really leading in that area. Really human remains are the closest link we have to past populations and you can learn a lot of things just by looking at them. So for example in forensic anthropology and osteology we teach how to identify the sex of an individual, their age, maybe some pathologies they've suffered from. We've got casts um, to look at trauma example from a forensic point of view. We look at what's happened to bones when they're in the burial environment and we have this amazing skeletal collection here at Bradford of over 4,000 remains which are used for teaching purposes so you get hands-on experience with the bones but also for research, there's ongoing research developing methodologies on these remains. The kind of careers um, that you could follow on from, from studying human remains um, can be within from a forensic point of view so working with the police, getting into crime scene investigation. It might be going down the archaeological route and working with museums or um, with an archaeological unit doing osteology. Or maybe you want to stay on and do research. Lots of our students who take the undergrad go on to do the master's course um, and then maybe even go on to do a PhD. I mean, we've got this great resource of human remains here 